Welcome to Just the Good Bits. Today we're making chicken sun-dried tomato sausage. Look how pretty that is. Want a bite? Sorry. Definitely full flavored. It's not spicy. So, this is a good alternative for big flavor without the heat. Try it. Please like and subscribe. Now we got the thighs. I look at this on the one side, that on the other side. We want to take the bone out and any gristle that we can find around the bone, any part of the joint, that type of thing. Oh, and we're taking the bone out, taking the gristle out. Use the back of the knife to scrape the bone to make it a little easier. Get the most meat off it. And then we got to look for the knuckle piece. We might have to feel through there. We don't want to leave that knuckle in there. Even if the grinder does grind it, it will be awful chewy. Little pieces. Uh, we got most of the joint still here. There might be a little piece left, so we're going to go feel for it. And we're going to save these bones for stocks. So they don't have to be totally meatless. And I'm feeling for the joint, and I got it all that time. Now, we're not doing a, a low-fat, lean chicken recipe here. We're going to leave the chicken on for flavor and fat. I'm going to cut it up small enough to go through my grinder. I got a big bite grinder, so I don't have to cut them up real small. You might need to cut them smaller depending on your grinder. Want to cut them up? Oh, it's also for moisture. It's also for moisture. Fat will give you moisture. Don't want it to dry out. Chicken sausages are notorious for drying out. And you continue that till you're done. Now let's round up the rest of our ingredients. We have 2.75 pounds of boneless chicken thighs with the skin on. Here we've got six ounces of sun-dried tomatoes that have been soaked in room temperature water for 15 minutes. Kept one third cup of the reserve water from that, and we're going to add that. We have one cup of chopped onion. I'm going to add that. I'll get it all out of there. We got three cloves of minced garlic. Now for our seasoning. We got ground coriander, and this is two teaspoons. Next, we got three teaspoons or one tablespoon of ground anise. Three teaspoons of oregano. One teaspoon of black pepper. Here I've got one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt and one and a half teaspoons of canning salt. Three teaspoons of rosemary. One and a half teaspoons of thyme. And one and a half teaspoons of Old Bay seasoning. Now let's give it a good mix. I'm trying to get everything evenly distributed. And if you choose to take the skin off, you're going to need to add another oil. Uh, olive oil, a lot of people use if you want to make it lean, better fat, if you're looking for a healthier fat. We're doing keto, so this is just fine for us. There, I got it mixed. Now I'm going to cover it and put it in the freezer for 30 minutes and then we'll come back and grind. 
Now we've had our chicken in the freezer. It's uh, gotten cold, so we're going to grind it. Now let's start up and get grinding. How long did you have it in the freezer? An hour, actually. I said a half hour. We just left it. Now. And we're going to stop it using the grinder. 